Hey everyone, Will the Yard Sale Survivalist here uh, with my flea market finds for May 12th and 13th, uh, 2012. Had a really good weekend this weekend. Uh, lots of good finds. Uh, I don't get to say that very often. It's, uh, it's safe to say that the uh, flea market and yard sale season is in uh, full swing. Uh, lots of good stuff uh, this week. Um, now, I've been doing this basically all my life, and uh, it never fails to amaze me that no matter what, I always find something I've never seen before um, going out there. So, uh, recovering from a bit of a cold, so uh, uh, not 100%, but uh, still made it out there to find some stuff. But uh, let's uh, take a look, see what I got. First up, uh, skeet thrower, uh, trap thrower. Uh, this thing's brand new. You can see it's never, that's the stakes that you drive it into the ground with. and It's never been in the ground. I uh, paid $10 for this and uh, should bring, I don't know, but they uh, knew they go for around 100, 120 or so. So, uh, should definitely do well there. I got all of this from one of my first yard sales I went to Saturday. Had a nice community sale. Uh, that's where I spent most of my time. Uh, had an 8 o'clock start time. But uh, remember the first rule of picking, get there early. Uh, so I was there at 7 o'clock. And uh, the guy said, uh, I asked the guy how much his stuff was. He said, everything here uh, was... Uh, um, he didn't care what he got for it. It was it, it was in the garage when he uh, bought the house. <coughs> uh, so I got the oil cans there for two dollars a piece um, with the spouts. The uh, filled oil cans in the back there were a dollar a piece. The nice SK uh, pork sausage ten. Uh, was a dollar and the reflector don't know what it's to but it stayed at 53 uh, that was a dollar this one isn't much just a plain old mason jar with an unmarked uh, spout this one's nice it's got uh, the glass jar and uh, the nice uh, marked spout there so have to do a little research on the oil cans. I haven't looked them up, but uh, sometimes they can bring some pretty good money. I uh, got my wife a uh, bird feeder for the yard. Uh, One dollar. Uh, looks like metal, but it's plastic. Still not bad for a dollar. Wouldn't mind too much if the squirrels tear that one up. Uh, got a nice piece of uh, marquetry here. Marketry is made out of uh, all different types of wood uh, put together to form a scene and two dollars This was pretty neat got it for a buck a little uh, Labrador retriever and it's uh, 3d um, This all was neat not really worth a whole lot of money Got these for myself, $1.50 for a box. There's about 40 of them in there. Coin holders. Uh, got lots of coins I can put in there. Got a uh, dovetail template made by uh, Craftsman. Uh, five bucks with the uh, instructions. Uh, Craftsman stuff usually goes for uh, pretty good money. Uh, the Preakness is held here in the uh, Baltimore area and uh, picked up a uh, Preakness glass for a whole 10 cents. Um, too bad this was the only one he had. <coughs> uh, but that's a good uh, 10 or 15 dollar uh, glass right there. There's the chickens. Hey boys! Yeah, they'll probably make their way up on the porch. Uh, got a uh, George Washington on his horse. Uh, what was his horse? Nelson. 
a uh, nice little uh, lead piece uh, or cast iron not sure um, but paid five for that yeah, I really like that my wife got herself a nice little uh, heavy glass uh, vase not too big not too small <coughs> Uh, wish that cough medicine would kick in. Got a little chip on it here, but it doesn't really matter if uh, uh, if we're going to use it. It's something I could use some help on. Got a bunch of uh, patches. They're all the same. It's like eight of them. Uh, not sure of the division. Got a blue four-leaf clover. Acorn in the middle, a couple arrows. Um... What I'm hoping is that their original World War II issue, which would uh, really help the uh, value of them. If somebody could let me know on that, I'd appreciate it. Same way with these. Uh, got a few pocket knives, a uh, Schrade Old Timer uh, case. Uh, <coughs> <coughs> Case XX and a uh, Camillus. Uh, Star brand shoes are better. A little advertising knife. Definitely seen better days, but uh, it was like two, three, and four dollars. So can't go wrong there. Got a nice uh, <coughs> picture, a uh, sculpture of uh, Atlas holding the world up. It's not too steady on the wicker here. It was two bucks. Nice heavy glass globe. Um, the quality of the metal piece isn't that great, but for two dollars, um, neat little piece. Got a uh, bullet to an artillery shell. Um, pretty good size round. Missing the uh, tip. <coughs> But uh, paid five for that. That'll go in my own collection. Be neat to find out what that is. I thought this was neat. Uh, Jim Beam bottle from uh, 1979. Uh, five dollars. Uh, just really like that in the shape of a uh, army canteen. Uh, Saw Avatar for the first time on TV the other night, but I missed the first 15 minutes. So, came across this for two dollars. Let me check that out. And uh, Battle Los Angeles, uh, two bucks a piece on those. This is a uh, cigar holder. Cigar stuff seems very expensive all the time. Um, there it goes. Holds uh, six cigars. Nice inlaid wood piece. Uh, paid ten for that. But uh, seems like a nice quality piece. Uh, <coughs> this one, somebody, want, somebody knows French, uh, let me know what that says. It's a uh, pipe rack. At least that's what I'm assuming. Um, got some age on it. All of the uh, oxidation of the wood. Um, it's been around a while. Um, so, paid paid 10 for that. Just never seen one before. Nice little conversation piece. Hang out on the wall, put a couple pipes in it. Got some Xbox games. Uh, Medal of Honor, uh, Crash, 007, Crazy Taxi, Call of Duty, Finest Hour, Roller Coaster Tycoon, dollar a piece, can't go wrong as long as they're in decent shape. <coughs> uh, got a uh, nice little picture here. Uh, vintage print, got a busted corner of glass, but... Uh, Signed, can't really make out the signature, but uh, nice little, uh, like a Gibson girl uh, look to it. Probably from the early 1900s. Uh, that was $2.50. Uh, 
was five dollars. Um, this is a nice one. It's a uh, bear bow. Um, it's a uh, grizzly model. And it's got the uh, running bear logo from Grayling, Michigan. It's an early bear. Uh, bear made bows for a while in Michigan to move to Florida. Um, so this is probably <clears throat> from the 40s, I would guess. It's, I don't think it's called a, a recurve bow. It's more like a static bow. Um, it's got a 50-pound uh, pull, which is kind of surprising for such a little bow. And they made it so this thing could be uh, right or left-handed, uh, depending on how you hold it, held it. Uh, Nice little old bow, definitely seen better days, but uh, one in mint condition just sold on eBay for $300. I think I can get about $75 for this one. Um, I paid $8 for that this morning. So, always love finding old bows. A couple fishing rods. This one's pretty much junk, but that was 5 bucks. This is a nice one. Uh, Shakespeare ugly stick, nice uh, Shakespeare reel. Uh, that was ten. Uh, be good for uh, me and the boys to go out and do some fishing. Uh, got the globe for this inside. <coughs> Never found one of these before. But this is an old Coleman lantern from about the 1940s. And uh, this is a model 152, and uh, even in this condition, I think I'll be able to get about uh, 30 or 40 dollars for it. If it was in closer to better condition, I'd probably get about uh, 150 or 200. But uh, uh, these don't show up too often. I wish the uh, too bad the paper label's uh, almost gone, but uh, paid two dollars for that. Uh, nice little find, and got this almost ten o'clock on Saturday. It'd been sitting out on the table uh, uh, for that long, uh, so it was just so many sales uh, Saturday that uh, just couldn't get to all of them. So nice little find there. I uh, got some models and uh, I'm gonna hang these up in uh, my son's room I picked these up at uh, the auction they were $25 for the lot nice uh, B29 like the uh, nose art there at the uh, working Bombay doors um, a bunch of other ones in here. There's a nice uh, German bomber, uh, TWA, but uh, need to be clean up and uh, string them up. They'll look good hanging from the ceiling. Got a prop. I don't know how much this thing weighs, but uh, it weighs a lot. <coughs> uh, Ten bucks on that. Lots of people uh, just clean them up or just leave them as is and uh, put them on their home, on their walls for uh, decoration. Uh, scrap value alone is probably worth more than that. Although I'd I'd never scrap it. This is one of my uh, one of my favorite things. A uh, nice uh, fan with the brass blades. Always like seeing that. Uh, the cord is is just totally shot. Um, I wouldn't even uh, attempt to plug that thing in. Uh, looks like it's been through a fire already. Uh, but uh, 
I always love finding the fans with the brass blades. Very collectible. I paid $12 for this. And uh, who knows? Um, clean it up. It's got to be tightened up there. Clean it up and uh, uh, maybe $50, $75 for that. A couple boxes of uh, Crayola crayons. They're like $1.50 a piece. Um, got a nice little guitar here. A uh, Yamaha. Uh, model FG180. And this is the, from what I can find online, it's a uh, FG180 made in uh, Nippon. Um, I've seen prices on these start at like 180 and uh, go on up to like 500. So I paid $45 for this this morning. So um, I'll probably put this on Craigslist. Um, things like guitars uh, that I don't, I'm nowhere near an expert on. I'd rather have the person come out and see it in person uh, than ship it off and find out there's something wrong with it. Uh, probably put it on Craigslist for about 200 see where it goes from there. Uh, got a little toy for myself, a uh, potato gun. Needs the uh, piece of PVC to be added on there. But uh, take the back off here. Spray a little uh, um, hairspray in there. Screw it back on. Hit the sparker. That ignites the uh, hairspray and uh, shoots the uh, potato out the barrel. So, uh, yeah, little project. Uh, kid's got a box of Lego for a buck. I know uh, that sells pretty good, but uh, they'll be looking at over got this neat box um, it's got a lot of age on it um, you can see from the uh, from the bottom lots of uh, oxidation on the bottom I love the little wheels all uh, Can't show you that jewelry just yet. Um, paid 20 for this, but it's just so unusual and uh, neat looking. The uh, hammered brass uh, scenes there. Um, I do a little research into that. I uh, got a box of uh, Thomas track. Eight dollars for the whole box. Um, lots of pieces in there. Haven't really dug in there yet. Then. That bin there was full of all of this Thomas. Um, just a ton of Thomas stuff. And all those uh, cars too. Now they're not all Thomas, but most of them are. Um, this was, uh, lady had 35 on the lot. I offered her 20. She counted off for 25. So I got it all for 25. Lots of uh, good pieces in there. It's probably probably about 50 cars alone um, in that lot. My kids got themselves a s'mores maker. Uh, I may have to do some product testing on that. And uh, my son got himself uh, this nice uh, little scooter. Um, push down on this with your foot to make it go. Pretty neat. He, uh, he's been enjoying that. Uh, and my last little lot here, I uh, went to a uh, yard sale, and first thing I noticed was uh, this uh, sterling necklace laying on the uh, card table, card table full of jewelry, and I asked the lady, I picked it up and I said, how much is the necklace? She said, well, Necklaces are 75 cents, 
and bracelets are 50 cents. She said, in the watch, uh, need to get a dollar for. So, let's start off here. These are sterling. That's sterling. That's sterling. All right, that's not sterling, but kind of neat looking. Uh, that is not sterling. Nice little... It's not uh, sterling, but a nice little uh, costume piece. This looks like silver, but I couldn't find a mark on it. Necklace is sterling. This one isn't sterling, but it's marcasite. Um, sterling earrings there. And sterling earrings there. Sterling box uh, box link, sterling omega chain, and this is gold. Well, it's not gold, but it's uh, gold over sterling. It's marked nine two five. Watch, nothing special. It's a Jacqueline Smith, but it looks nice. Uh, this is um, just costume. Another sterling uh, bracelet there. I mean necklace. This one, the chain isn't uh, sterling, but all the uh, charms are sterling. Um, this one's junk, and this one is uh, sterling. So, uh, pretty good find, just right there. Oh, it's a sterling piece also. So, if that wasn't, uh, um, that'd be a great find as it is. But what puts it over the top is this one right here, and take a look there, yep, 14 karat. So that's a 14 karat, 11.3 grams it weighs, uh, that would put the value at around $330. So for 50 cents not a bad day so like I said one of my uh, better weekends I would say so, uh, now I'll try to uh, sell some of it and get some room and uh, some of my money back but uh, shouldn't be too bad uh, we'll see how it does and uh, already looking forward to uh, next week so until then, uh, this is Will, the uh, Guard Sales Survivalist, and I'll see you next week.